You'll need a head for heights for this one. A new suspension bridge has just opened in Switzerland, which will give thrill-seeking pedestrians incredible views of the scenic Bernese Alps. The Charles Conan Suspension Bridge is 494 meters long and 65 centimeters wide. The footbridge can only be crossed in single file. The bridge connects the resort towns of Greichen and Zermatt at a height of 85 meters. Local media report that the bridge uses hydraulic cylinders to regulate tension and prevent it from swinging. The now former world's longest suspension footbridge is the 390 meter long Kokonoe Dream Bridge in Japan. It is about 100 meters shorter than the Charles Conan suspension bridge. Swiss tourism officials say the new bridge is most suitable for hikers with no fear of heights. That's because you can see the precipice below your feet through the grated surface. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's some more stuff to make your leg shake. China builds glass bottom walkway 340 meters above the street. China has unveiled yet another frightening glass structure. This time it's an open air skywalk outside the country's third tallest building. A standout feature of the city skyline, Shanghai's Jingmao Tower, has opened a glass bottom platform for daring visitors. The platform is located outside the 88th floor, roughly 340 meters above the street. It is 60 meters long and 1.2 meters wide. It also does not have any handrails. Visitors are required to wear helmets and a harness attached to the safety bar. A total of 15 people, including two staff, are allowed on the platform each time. Visitors can enjoy the breathtaking view for half an hour, but they cannot take any personal belongings, meaning no selfies. You would not want an iPhone dropped on your head from 340 meters up. Given China's patchy history of construction safety, do we really trust the Jingmao Tower guys will get it right this time? Hope they didn't hire the same contractor who built the glass bridge in Yuntai Mountain. That cracked just two weeks after opening. New glass sky slide opens to public in LA. A glass slide suspended 1,000 feet above ground in Los Angeles opened to the public on June 25th. The sky slide is positioned between the 70th and 69th floor of the U.S. Bank Tower in downtown Los Angeles. The U.S. Bank Tower is the tallest building in California and the 12th tallest in the country. The slide itself is 45 feet long and 4 feet wide. It is made of 1.25 inch thick 3-ply glass. The slide was airlifted to the top of the building by helicopter before it was fixed into position using a complex pulley system. The slide went through months of testing involving loading it full of sandbags to test for its maximum stress level. The slide is said to be able to resist hurricane force winds up to 110 miles per hour and strong enough to hang two blue whales. The owner of the building said they hope the sky slide will become a signature of Los Angeles and encourage more people to visit the downtown area. China builds the world's highest and longest glass bridge. China recently completed the world's highest and longest glass bridge, giving the country another thrilling and scary tourist attraction. The glass bridge stretches across a canyon in Jiangjiajie, a national park in China's Hunan province. The length of the bridge is 430 meters, slightly shorter than the height of Malaysia's Petronas Towers. It is six meters in width and rises up to 300 meters high. Its glass floor is made of five centimeter thick laminated glass, a type of safety glass that remains held together by a vinyl interlayer if it shatters. A total of 99 laminated glass panels are installed on the bridge, which can support up to 800 visitors. Bridges have a natural frequency of vibration within them. When a pedestrian walks over the bridge, they transfer energy to the bridge with every step. The bridge's vibrational frequency is amplified if the pedestrian transfers energy at the same frequency as the bridge's natural vibration. 
Therefore, when a large number of people are walking over the bridge at the same time, the vibration of the bridge can be greatly amplified. This may eventually cause it to vibrate violently until it collapses. To prevent this from happening, authorities installed 72 glass balls, each weighing 750 kilograms, at irregular intervals across the bridge. This will interrupt the steps of pedestrians and dampen the vibrations. There is no official opening date for the glass bridge, but the South China Morning Post reported that it will likely open to the public in July. Hey, Tomo Sapiens! Help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon News Squad at patreon.com slash tomonews. World's first suspended glass pool to bridge luxury flats in London. In an architectural first, wealthy Londoners will soon be able to literally float 35 meters off the ground. A group of British architects and property developers have unveiled their plan to build a suspended glass pool, bridging two luxury apartments. Enclosed in glass 20 centimeters thick, the pool will be 25 meters long and 5 meters wide, with water approximately 1.2 meters deep. The so-called sky pool will be suspended 10 stories high, or 35 meters above the ground. In comparison, Big Ben, London's famous clock tower, stands 96 meters high. The glass pool will connect two apartments of the Embassy Gardens development in southwest London's new Nine Elms Quarter. The experience of the pool will be truly unique. It will feel like floating through the air in central London, said Sean Mulry, CEO of the developer Ballymore Group. Website The Verge writes that the $23 billion development is primarily aimed at wealthy Asian and Middle Eastern buyers.